The reproducer. It is the most important part of a phonograph. But what can you do when that part is missing? This video shows how to make a new reproducer using modern tools respecting the original design, allowing historical sounds to be played once again. And now, Tragic Tunes, the documentary show about those long forgotten songs. Tonight's special is about the world famous song, It's a Long Way to Tipperary. In 1912, now more than 100 years ago, a song was performed for the first time. Its lyrics describe an Irishman who visits London. But, although it's a pretty place to be, he'd rather be with a girl in his hometown, Tipperary. So, he writes her a slightly silly letter. To which she responds that he'd better hurry home or she'll marry someone else. Being so far away from home is exactly how the soldiers felt when a few years later the First World War started. So it's no surprise that this song was widely adopted and its melody carried far beyond the political borders. Eventually this song became synonymous with the First World War. But that isn't where it ended. Because during the Second World War, its popularity rose again. The song was a symbol for the longing for home and its jolly melody uplifted the spirits of the men. The fact that the song is an English song didn't always seem to matter. Which is beautifully visualized in the movie Da's Boat from 1981. Thomas Edison, the inventor of the phonograph, once said, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Meaning that it will take a lot of effort to polish an idea into something that actually works. Thanks to modern tools and the fact 
that Edison did all the hard work of research. There will be no need to perspirate. In essence, a reproducer is nothing more than a membrane with a stylus stuck onto a sound box. Printing the sound box is easy, but it's the membrane that's difficult and the stylus that's hard. Pressurized air can be used for many things. But today, we don't need it. I'm sure that John B. Dunlop, the inventor of the pneumatic bicycle tire, would understand if we cut up a tube from a tire for an experiment. Because what we need is something that can transfer a great amount of force that will convince a thin piece of aluminum to take the shape of a 3D printed mold. Normally a thick piece of rubber would do the trick, but since we don't have that, a few sheets of rubber from an old tire will work just as well. Originally the membranes for phonographs of this type were made from mica, which was a very common material a century ago. But today, we don't have that. So we'll use aluminum instead, which seems to be everywhere these days. And I'm sure Edison wouldn't mind if we'd used aluminum instead, because he also once said, hell, there are no rules here. We're trying to accomplish something. He was a smart man. Glass, it's wonderful stuff. Even the ancient Egyptians knew it. Although most people just seem to focus on their pointy skyscrapers. It doesn't take much to melt glass. You can even melt it on your gas stove if you'd like. But, if you want to make a reproducer, then you probably don't want to use regular or soda lime glass. What you want is borosilicate glass because that's the type of glass that won't wear as much, so you never need to replace it. You most likely have it already, you just need to find it. Now, a guy named Ptolemy knew that there was something called refraction, the effect of bending light when it passes from one material into another. A funny thing about borosilicate glass is that it has the exact same refraction index as ordinary sunflower or mineral oil. Now, all we need to do is submerge all the glass we have into the soil. And the glass that disappears is the type we need. There are only two problems with borosilicate glass. One is that it is very hard, so it's difficult to break. The other thing is that, unless it's very thin, you can't really melt it with an ordinary flame. Meaning that, you'll need some high-end pure oxygen-based flame for that. So, if you don't have that, you can't use it. And your only option would be using ordinary glass, which is better than nothing.